there it's jazz and guess what i found a new place to film indoors without the noise of the street so today i'm going to talk about my october favorites and i only have four products to show three makeup and one non makeup Is lipstick by L'Oreal and it's the color Rich Matte 636. I talked about it in my uh, favorite nude lipsticks video. And basically, I love the color Rich formula, it's amazing. I have a red lipstick from the same formula and it's so matte. And uh, I would love to try more colors, but this color in particular I've been using non stop the past month because it's a soft nude. Let me swatch it. On me, it's a really soft mood, <laughs> and um, I wear it every day to university or like just day to day basis. And what I love about this lipstick is that it stays put amazingly. I eat, I drink, I sweat, everything, and it's still there at the end of the day. Its wearability is amazing, and the finish I haven't seen another lipstick in like a lipstick form, not a liquid lipstick, be this matte. It's really, really matte and soft, velvety, not drying like liquid lipsticks, but so matte and amazing. The next product is by Jordana and it's a blush. Uh, it's in the shade Terracotta Treasure. This is the color. Can't really tell. Blushes are really hard to swatch. Yeah, so in my very first monthly favorites, uh, it was June, I think. Yeah, June monthly favorites, if you watched it. I talked about a Jordana blush in the shade Terracotta, and it was like a peachy orange blush, and I loved it. So I kept trying to find another shade from Jordana because I love the formula. I tried to find another shade, but they were all glittery and shimmery and they were not really what I call a blush but then I found this shade and it's the perfect pink blush uh, for my skin tone it's not too bright but it's not too mauve or dark so we were like is it blush is it contour is it bronzer you know these types of shades it's just the perfect pink and I've been looking for a shade like this for a really long time, so when I found it, and Jordana, which I love, I grabbed two of these, and I use it every single day, and it's amazing, it gives me this healthy, beautiful look that blushes should give you. So yeah, basically it's the perfect blush for like pinky looks, when I want like orange or peachy looks. I grabbed the other one from Jordana, Terracotta. The final makeup product, yeah, this video is going to be really short, is uh, a contour palette by NYX. It's the Highlight and Contour Pro palette. Uh, I talked about this in my NYX haul and review, but I'm going to talk a little about it again uh, because I've started using it like crazy this month i've had it for a couple of months but this month in particular i made so many amazingly stunning looks using this palette and i started using it for multiple reasons i set my eyeshadow base with this one and i set my concealer with this shade i contour with these this and this shade I haven't used the highlight that much because I have so many other highlighting products, but I'm sure it's amazing. But definitely these two shades and these two shades I have used a lot this month. And it's so pigmented and soft. Not There's no fallout. There's no like powder puffing everywhere. It's just... I really find it hard to find shades that will look good on me as contour they're usually too light or they don't give the effect of actual contouring it's just like a bronzer but these shades really show up on my skin amazingly this one it's 
so you can see how <laughs> pigmented it is well it's really 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 pigmented best thing about this palette is not the pigmentation or the color selection or... it's the fact that these are detachable like i can remove this when it's finished and i can replace it without having to buy the whole palette again i'm trying to remove it this time again yeah they're a little hard to remove but when the time comes and you finish let's say this shade you can easily just remove it and like, replace this particular shade this is amazing 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 i'm kind of sad to say that this has replaced my anastasia beverly hills contour kit that i've been using for the past two years and i love this is slowly starting to take its place. Oh well. It was bound to happen someday, you know. I, I wouldn't be using the contour kit forever. Have sprayed you into my eyes. The last product is not a makeup product, it's a makeup removing product. <laughs> it's the Micellar Cleansing Water by Garnier. I know this is not a new product, but I discovered it this month and I've used it a lot. I only use this product to remove my makeup and it removes everything. Waterproof mascara, waterproof eyeliner, um, the toughest liquid lipstick, everything. Everything. It removes everything and it doesn't leave this sticky film that some, um, or like the oily film that some makeup removers in an emulsion form can leave sometimes or doesn't have this it's it's scentless so it doesn't have this really strong floral scent that most makeup wipes have so yeah it's amazing it's literally like water i apply it on my face and it's as if i'm watching my face with water but it magically removes all the makeup and it does not leave any residue it doesn't leave any like strong scent lingering so it's it's basically the perfect makeup remover I really need to get a backup because I'm going through this like really fast so yeah we're done with uh, this month's video it was a quick one um, I hope you enjoyed it and liked the products I recommend and see you in my next